Welcome to the Traders Help Desk online video collection. This is a follow-up video to the one I did yesterday for multi-charts. And as you can see, I just have the 80 period moving average on my chart with the free volume indicator. Now this volume indicator is free to anyone. And I want to point out that actually um, between these lows here, um, from here to here you can see that there was diverging volume. In other words, the volume on this low was lower than the volume on this one. This is what gave you diverging volume. You would have anticipated this up move. Of course then when you had the up move, and this was due to a market report, you then tested that high twice. Each time it tested this high, it was done so on decreasing volume. So you would anticipate the price to pull back. Where will it pull back to? More than likely either an 80 period moving average, an ATR, um, any type of support and resistance line where it can find support for price to go up. Once it does come back to this line, you can see that initially it closes below it and then you start getting diverging volume again. So to me this is the close of this bar where it closes above the 80 period moving average is actually your entry point. And I'll go ahead and move that line up so you can see where the entry point would be. And I will put another line here and your stop would be down at 50. This is the Euro 3 minute chart and I use a standard 8 tick stop on a 3 minute chart. So I'm going to make this red and I'll increase the weight so you know that that is my stop line. And I'm going to put this as yellow which stands for my entry line. Now since I entered at 58, one of the core concepts for me is risk to reward ratio. So if I entered at 58 and my stop is 8 ticks, my standard profit target would be 16 ticks, which means my first profit target would be at 74. So I'm going to just draw me a line here at 74 and I'm going to make that green so that I know that is my first profit target. And since we like profits, I'll put it a little bit thicker. And we'll wait and see what happens. Okay, we have about four more ticks to our first profit target. And again, I'm just going to pause the screen so we don't take up too much. Um, well, we don't make the file too big. That's a better way of putting it. <laughs> okay, we're about a tick away from our profit target. So I'm going to go ahead and put my next profit target on here, which would be 90. And again, this is just 16 ticks away from our first profit target. And I'm going to move my stop up to break even plus the cost of the trade. One of the neat things about multi charts is it has this automatic countdown. So if you're very time oriented like I am, you can always tell how many minutes you have before the next bar begins. Okay, I'm going to pause the screen until it actually hits my first profit target. Okay, it's at 73 again, which is one tick away from our profit target. Now we have our profit target. We're also making new highs. Now I can move my stop up to just below that low. So I'm going to move my stop up to 66. We have already made 16 ticks here. Now this volume bar here is still building, okay? 
now it just finished and we see that we have a slight divergence between here and here. Now if this divergence pushes price down, we may get stopped out. I know a lot of students would say, okay, there's divergence here in the selling volume, and actually it was not. You made a higher low and it was on lower volume, selling volume. And this is what we would anticipate. In other words, sellers really were not interested. I do have a stop in at 66. Either way the trade goes, I'm guaranteed right now a total of 32 ticks. We made 16 ticks on the first profit target and our stop is uh, 8 ticks above where our entry was. And considering I've still got two contracts, that would make 16 ticks. Again, I'm going to pause the screen until I'm either stopped out or something changes that I need to inform you about. But right now, our stop is at 66, and our next profit target is, is at 31.90. Okay, we've made a new low here, and you can see that we made a low here, and we also made a low here. Now on this low, we see a slight increase, not much, but very slightly. So I'm going to raise my stop just a little bit more. In other words, I'm not going to let them come back in and the sellers uh, take me out of this position. So I raise my stop down up to 68. I would have anticipated seeing lower volume. Um, they did take it one tick um, really lower than the previous bar and it was slightly increase in the sellers um, if I put it there you can see it was slightly increasing so I'm not going to jeopardize the profits that I've made already typically you know I'll wait until I make a new high and in this case, I said, nah, I'm going to go ahead and raise it because I'm not going to let the sellers take me out if they do step into the market. I really want to see buyers come back into the market. Um, if you're nervous over this trade, take another contract off. Either way you go, you do have profits. This is really where I want to see them come in and make a new high. Now this is not a new high. This is an equal high. It's very critical that when you're measuring the volume, it is on new highs. Um, when you have equal highs, then that is a different volume scenario. This is where I want to see him push through it on higher volume. I want to see, in other words, that the buyers are really still interested in this market right now. One more tick and we'll have a new high. Again, this little countdown with multi-charts tells me exactly how many seconds and minutes I have left in the bar. Now we have a new high. So now I know my stop is exactly where it needs to be. And let's see what they do. Again, I'm going to pause the video just so it, it doesn't make it so long for you. I'm very aware of the time that you have to spend to watch these videos.
Okay, you're still throwing divergence, so that tells me that the buyers are are not coming in as strong as I would want. And this is a technique that I teach my students: is you actually mark the higher highs, and you, then you look at the volume. And as you can see, the volume is decreasing on each new high. This is an area where if you're new to trading and you're just beginning to, to read volume, you may say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take profits. That guarantees you a one to two risk to reward ratio. I have my stop about six ticks below my first uh, profit target. So I'm going to leave it exactly where it is right now. And I'm just going to wait and see what happens. What I, I think will happen is they will come back and they will test to see if sellers are interested. And if there's no interest by sellers, then of course the market will go back up and the buyers will come back in. Since I really have a tight stop, for me it's uh, more appropriate just to wait and see what's happening. And again, this is just using a price chart, knowing my highs and lows, and using volume. Now you see that sellers came in very strong on this bar. It made a low. So we may get stopped out. The one thing I would be asking myself is, if sellers came in that strong, why did they not make a new low uh, when compared to this low? I do know I have my stop in. Either way I go, I've taken profit on this trade. So you're not in a panic mode of, oh, I might lose money. You know that you have profits either way and all you're doing is following price action and the free volume indicator. Again, I'm going to pause the screen until something happens on the chart and then I'll come back. For those of you that want to, you could raise your stop to 71 which is one tick below this low. Um, I'm going to leave it exactly where it's at. So, and let's just see if buyers can actually come back in and take control. The high of the day so far has been 83, I believe. Um, yeah, 31.83. So I would in, at least anticipate it to go back to 83. And let's see if it does it. Okay, as you can see, you just made a new high. This is the point I'm going to raise my stop again. So basically, I'm three ticks under where my first profit target level was. The high on this was 80. I am watching the volume because now I know I've made a new high when compared to other highs. So the first thing I would want to do is look at these volume indicators to see, okay, are we going up or are we going down in blue volume? Now, these are lower than this high here. So we could still have divergence, but it is a very minute divergence between this one, which is your highest volume bar so far, and this one. So I have moved my stop and I'm going to see if I can't get my profit target two, which is at 31.90. Now the high of the day has been 31.83, so we might get more divergence around that area. We just made a new high for the morning.
Need four more ticks, two more ticks. We got profit target two. Let's see if we can go on for our next profit target, which would be at 06. And we'll go ahead and put this on here. And we're going to raise our stop again. We are now going to make sure that we get a 1 to 2 on our last contract. So our stop is now at 31.74. This is the live edge of the market, which is what I like to trade. You do see we're getting lots of buy-in volume now. This is what I would have anticipated, uh, mainly because the sellers could not take price down. They came in strong on this bar, but as I said earlier, why could they not make a lower low than this if you had increasing selling volume? I do like to show this on the live edge of the market. I think that's where students learn the best. Everything that you see in my chart, um, the THD volume indicator, totally free. Just send us an email and we'll send it to you. It is available for TradeStation and NinjaTrader. Uh, the moving average is available in uh, just about any trading platform for free. And it's just set to an 80 period moving average. Nothing special about it. Now I am going to pause the screen because I am aware of the, the time. And I want to make this as short as possible while still teaching, okay? Now, just so you can uh, have an idea of what this trade is worth, one contract we made 16 ticks, second contract we made 32, and we still have one remaining contract in the market, and our stop is at uh, this first profit target here, which is 16. So either way we go, we are guaranteed at least 64 ticks. Okay, we just made a low, and you can see that it's uh, a lower red volume bar. This is what I would anticipate in a trend. I would like to see a new high, and then I could raise my stop again. Okay, we have not made a higher high. We have made an equal high. I'm going to go ahead and raise this stop, so... Um, to make sure that I don't lose the profits that I've made. And this was at 74. And basically I'm just setting it one tick off of uh, this low. The low is at um, 85. So I'm going to have my stop sitting actually at 83. I would have preferred that this bar closed above the high of the previous bar. Because that would tell me that the next bar should be an up bar. It did not do that. It was testing that previous high. So I opted to move my stop up. In other words, I'm not going to give back all of this profit if it goes back to the first profit target. So far we've missed the stop by one tick. It's gone down to 84. Our stop is at 83. We probably will get stopped out. That's okay. We've got profits. I guess I need to move these uh, profit targets over here. Okay, as you can see, it's testing this high, and so far it's clearing it. We miss getting stopped out by one little tick. Let's see if it has enough to push them up to our next profit target. I need to see some increase in volume, because otherwise we're going to get a strong divergence off of this high here. 
And I apologize, I didn't mark that high for y'all. Since this is the tallest volume bar at this point, I can now delete the others. And this is what I teach uh, my students to do in the seminars. I actually go into more detail on reading volume. And volume is something that you kind of have to take a, a little bit at a time to fully understand because otherwise you kind of confuse yourself. I'm really watching the volume. You can see that it is building. This is what I anticipate. We have about another seven ticks to go, six ticks. And normally when your profit targets are around the double O's, they they will take those out so that's typical price behavior we did get a slight divergence on that okay there we have it we got the the last profit target and that was uh, another 48 ticks so all in all we were able to capture uh, believe, let's see, 96 ticks, if I'm not mistaken. Not bad, considering the only thing we were using was a 80-period moving average and volume.